السلام عليكم الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون وقال تعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان انزلناه في ليله القدر وما ادراك ما ليله القدر ليله القدر خير من الف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربه من كل أمر سلام هي حتى ما طلع الفجر وقال النبي صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم قد جاءكم شهر رمضان شهر مبارك افترض الله عليكم صيامه تفتح فيه, أب... تفتح فيه أبواب الجنة وتغلق فيه أبواب الجحيم وتغل فيه الشيطان فيه ليلة خير من ألف شهر من حرم خيرها فقد حرم رواه الإمام النسائي وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام من قام ليلة القدر إيمانا وإحتساما غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه وكما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام My dear brothers الحمد لله we are in the month of Ramadan what is that today's past what day is it? I know it's Friday. Date, date of Ramadan. Eh? 18th of Ramadan. So tomorrow will be 19th. And Sunday will be the 20th of Ramadan. So from Sunday night after Maghrib, the last 10 nights of Ramadan will start. The last 10 nights of Ramadan is done. We are about to complete the second part of Ramadan. Ramadan, Allah has given us this opportunity that we are in Ramadan. We don't really understand or sometimes we underestimate what Allah has given us. see, two days ago, at Iftar time, I got a message. One of my cousins in India, he passed away. Right at our Iftar time, he was there, Tahajit. He died of COVID. He was a half of Quran, alhamdulillah. Today in the morning, I got a message that his second brother, is on the brink of death. Within the, these two brothers, at least three or four of my relatives have passed away in the last two days. If you ask them that if they could say, stay until Laylatul Qadr, they would give the whole world for it now. But they can't because their time is up. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Allah has given us life. We are still in Ramadan. Inshallah, we will complete Ramadan so that we will be in Laylatul Qadr. We don't realize how important it is that we are alive. And how every second that we are fasting in this heat, in the month of Ramadan, how worthy it is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says that وَأَنَا أَجْزِي yani All the other amal, salah and so on, the reward is given through the angels. 
But the reward of fasting, Allah says, I give myself. Why it comes, I give myself or I am given myself to them. So that the person who is fasting, he is actually all the moment that he is fasting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is close to him. Allah is rewarding him. And especially, especially the at the time, tell the brother this is not a, a drive through masjid. Huh. Whilst we are fasting, we have to observe the fast. Alhamdulillah, we do. We're supposed to look after the fast. And Alhamdulillah, we are in the 18th fast. So, as I said, that those people who died in Ramadan, there is a janaza today also. Ask them how they would want to be with us now. But they can't. They can't. Hatta ida ja ahadahum al maut, qala rabbir ji'oon, la'alli a'mal salihan fima tarat. That when moth comes to them, they say, Oh Allah, send me back. I'll do your ibadat now. But it's too late. And we have this opportunity that we are in Ramadan. And we are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should do shukar of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon this. It's not that I have anything special or you have anything special. Our fasting is also from the tawfiq min Allah. That Allah has given us this ability that Allah is enabling us to fast. Otherwise, we would be just like the rest of the people who don't fast. But Allah gives us this ability to fast. A mu'min fast in the month of Ramadan. He or she will stay hungry and thirsty not to please anybody, but to please Allah. So that's why Allah gives in himself in reward. And he who gains Allah, he gains everything. He who gains Allah, he's gained everything. You know when you go to the Kaaba, may Allah take us all. Say Ameen. Huh? Don't think that Allah will not take us. Who knows, this might be the time of acceptance. May Allah take us again and again to his house. Oh, this COVID will go away. It's not there forever. One day, inshallah, it will disappear. And then, the doors will be open again, inshallah. We make dua that Allah opens it sooner than later. So when a person goes to the Kaaba, when he looks at the Kaaba, whatever dua he makes, the first instance, the first sight of Kaaba, Allah accepts that dua. So, people make dua according to their understanding, their intellect. So, a farmer from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh went to Kaaba. And he used to have jamus, buffaloes. So, somebody had told him that when you see the Kaaba, whatever dua you make, Allah accepts it. So he was a farmer, an ordinary person, a Bedouin, an Arabi. So he looked at the Kaaba and he said, Oh Allah, do manj de de. He said, Oh Allah, give me two buffaloes. And that was his understanding. So he asked Allah for that. So when it's time for iftar, we can ask Allah for everything and anything. So somebody came to him, Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, and he said, What dua should I make when I reach the Kaaba, when I see the Kaaba for the first time? So he looked at him and he said, When you dua you make, you make this dua that, Oh Allah, after this, every dua I make, accept it. Accept it.
because every need of yours every need of mine who should we ask Allah and if we have made that dua that oh Allah accept my dua Allah will accept it it doesn't mean that it will rain straight away that it will come straight away Allah will give us how and when he knows for Ramadan is about asking Allah وَإِذَا سَعَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّعِي ذَاتَ Allah is very close. We just need to make, raise our hands and say Allahumma aghfir li, Allahumma arham li, Allahumma arzuq li. And Allah is ready and willing in Ramadan, any time of the day you make dua, inshallah Allah will accept. That you are fasting, Allah is very close. But we tend to forget this. And the person who is in tilawat of Quran Kareem, while he's in tilawat, all the dua that he passes through the Quran, and while he's doing tilawat, all the people who are making dua, Allah will accept it for him also. Because he's busy in the kalam of Allah. You know, sometimes it's not our tabi'ah, it's not our nature to sit down with the Quran. But we should. Because this going against the nafs, against the desire, internal, carnal desires and internal desires that we go against by reciting Quran, this helps us in our spiritual. There is a bahas in the ulama that does iman increase or decrease. So certain amal we do, iman increases. الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبٌ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ When you recite Quran, your Iman increases. When you do Salah, Durud, and the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, your Iman increases. When you do Istighfar to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, your Iman increases. And Ramadan, instead of wasting our time on the internet or wasting our time on other things, watching the news, and getting depressed. Do dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Allah. This is the time to ask Allah. And especially now that we are coming towards the end of Ramadan. Sayyidina Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha says that when the last ten nights used to come, shidd al-meezar will come out. Yani Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Aykadha ahlul Mashid al-Mizar He used to wake up his household in the night And he used to tie up his pajama And he used to stand in front of Allah Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to look for Laylatul Qadr One year Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did atikaf of the whole month So after the first ten days he said those who are in etikaf with me, do not break your etikaf, stay until the next 10 days. In the next 10 days, Nabi Islam told them, don't break your etikaf, then it will be in the last 10 nights. Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on the, when this ayat came, in anzalnaa hu fee laylatul qadr, wa ma adraaka ma laylatul qadr, laylatul qadr khayr min al fishahar, تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربه من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر When this surat came This surat is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran in one time in the heaven the heaven of the earth and then from there as and when it was needed Quran came to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم in 23 years so not the whole Quran came to him all at once. It came. So Salah came when Salah was full. Zakat came when Zakat was full. The, the Ahkam of Nikah and Talaq came. The Ahkam of Hajj came. The Ahkam of Ramadan came. Accordingly. So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it took 23 years for the entire Quran to come to Rasulullah Sallallahu 
and we however we recite in tarawi one quran in 29 or 27 nights and we think we have done a great favor to allah it's not really a favor to allah it's a favor upon ourselves we do i reading you listening standing in the night it is no great favor to allah we are just doing a favor upon ourselves ha huh. so this quran came inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr in laylatul qadr the night of power allah tabarak wa taala says bama adraka ma laylatul qadr do you know what is the night of power sahaba e kiram nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam once was explaining to them that in the previous ummah there were people who for 80 months 80 years 83 years there was a man for 83 years and 4 months he continues to be jihad in the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how much do we live if we are lucky we go over 60 if we are very fortunate we go over 70 and if we are extremely lucky then we will go over 80 hardly anybody reaches 100 hardly nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked what is the umar of your people what is the age of your people he said bain amar ummati bain 60 or 70 that generally the umar of my people is between 60 and 70 So my dear brothers those who are 60 and plus they have to now start thinking that I should get Laylatul Qadr this year and those who are 50 should not be too sure also because if we get Laylatul Qadr Laylatul Qadr khairun min alf shahr Allah says that Laylatul Qadr if you get one night of Laylatul Qadr in your lifetime you have done ibadat ibadat for a thousand months a thousand months 83 years and four months allah ibn kathir has written this and people nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam was told through wahi that there were four nabis of allah yusha bin nun sayyidina zakaria alayhi salam isqil alayhi salam and there was another nabi who worshiped allah for 85 years or 84 years without ever sinning so when sahaba heard this he said ya allah ya nabi allah how can we do this so the surah ke inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr that if you get one night of laylatul qadr and you are sincere in your ibadat in your asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is that your whole life 83 years you have done ibadat of allah you will get the ajr of 83 years if a person gets in his lifetime 10 laylatul qadr then how many years huh? 833 years more than that but we don't know when is laylatul qadr some people think it's going to be on the 27th no nope, no nope. nothing less nothing more by nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said iltamisuha fi ihda wa ishrin wa thalathin wa ishrin wa khamsin wa ishrin wa sab'in wa ishrin wa tis'in wa ishrin this last one said that look for it in the 21st night in the 23rd night in the 25th night in the 27th